Hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here back again with another preview. The Premier League is back, it's back, it's back, it's back, it's back, it's back. Um, but, um, hmm, Leicester at home, it's going to be difficult, guys, it's going to be difficult. Um, I have noticed there's been a lot of negativity leading up to this game, a lot of United fans are getting a bit angsty, um, there's an Oli out, over his head, and experience, all these different things that are coming in. Honestly, we're only four games into the season. Um, there's, I've even seen people saying, oh, you know, Pochettino, Lampard. And I'm just like, people seem to be forgetting that right now anyway. Manchester United are ahead of Tottenham and Chelsea. Um, but, you know, we won't go into that. The point I'm trying to make is that, like, United actually, okay, we lost against Crystal Palace, yes, but we were the better team, you know, so... Yes, I know we're not playing as, as good as we should, but the reality is that in the games we've played so far, United, I'd argue, have been the better team in all of them. In all of them, including Chelsea, I believe, we've been the better team in all of them. You know, so we're not being convincingly played off the park, unlike previous seasons. You know, so I think I want to go into this this match, this preview, with um, optimism. Um, that said, um, and this is this video is going to be kind of like a combination of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer press conference reaction, but also um, a Manchester United Leicester City preview. And it's mostly on, on that because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in his press conference today did confirm that Paul Pogba, Antti Martial and Luke Shaw um, are going to be out injured, which all three of those are a massive blow because Martial is arguably our best finisher. Pogba is arguably our best midfielder. And Luke Shaw, while he's not probably our best defender, um, is still um, him not playing means that Ashley Young is coming into the fray. You know, so we have three big weaknesses right now. Um, and, you know, this is going to be a tough game as a result. It's going to be a very, very tough game. The other thing that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer said in the press conference was that while we'd expect maybe young or youth people to come in, it seems that um, that more experience will be coming, like your matters and like your matches. And, and while, to be fair, I don't mind Matic playing in the number 10, sorry, Matter playing in the number 10, Position he actually did okay, I think against Southampton in that position. Um, Matic being brought, being brought in, um, we'll, we'll, I don't know. We'll see. It did give us a bit of stability, I think, against Southampton um, when he came on. I think it was last time to help with Pogba. But without Pogba, you we're going to have a very very static and non-existent midfield because I don't think McTominay will be able to do to do much of that unless we're going to bring in a Fred or Pereira or what have you. Um, so without further ado, and let's just go in um, to what I think the starting lineup will be. Um, so now, as you can see, um, even though I think we're going to be at home, this is how I think we're going to set up. I don't think that oh, he's going to bring in youth for this. Um, I think the back, the goalkeeper's always there. Hey, he's not injured. The back four. Now there is a query about Wan Bissaka and Jesse Lingard. Lingard. He said there was an illness, that's why he had to go into the room. So he should hopefully be back. Um, no problem. Um, Wambasaka seems to be touch and go. Um, I really have no idea. If Wambasaka can't play, then I really have no idea who will come in at right back because Dallo is injured. Um, so Bai is injured. So really, um, I really don't know who comes in. Maybe Fosu Mensa if he's not injured. Um, I, I don't know. I really, really, really don't know um, who are coming. So I, I just don't see Ole Gunnar sort of bringing it in youth for whatever reason. We could basically just go back to back three of Young, Maguire and Lindelof. Um, maybe throw in, or maybe like drop Young, for example, and put Rojo in there as like a left, a left-sided, uh, uh, a centre, uh, uh, of the back three, sorry. Possibly, I don't think Rojo, is Rojo injured? Yeah, I think Rojo injured. We just have we just have tons of injuries and it's really really frustrating just how other teams. Yes, I know I think City do have their fair share. I think that Sane is out, Laporte is out, and those are key for them. But we always seem to have this problem in the beginning. Of the season, a key image, we just get tons of injuries and it's not good. It's not good. Anyway, moving on, it will probably be McTominay and Matic in the base. I really really would love Fred to come in here. I really would. I think Oli should just put Fred in this team because um, there's nothing to lose. I'd be more comfortable with um, Matic, Bogtomny, and maybe Fred uh, playing, play, playing a bit more forward, um, you know, or even just putting Bogtomny and Fred in front of the back, the back two, 
than Matic coming in, in my personal opinion, because at least Fred gives a bit of tenacity, a bit of dynamism, etc. Why he's being left out of the squad, I don't know. But this is what Oli wants, so so we'll see. Um, in front, obviously, um, with no Martial to basically lead the line, I think it'll be Rashford's job. I don't think Greenwood is going to get the opportunity, even though I think that Rashford and Lingard should be dropped for a bit, because I just... I think they need some time off the lines to really think and make an impact. Um, but that's not going to happen because we don't have the squad depth. Lukaku's gone, Chances is gone. We haven't brought any replacements. Um, so, Russia will be starting again up top. I think Matt will be playing him on behind, number 10 position. Then you'll have Lingo on the right and Daniel James on the left. That is how I think we are probably going to set up um, against Leicester City tomorrow. And it's a big game. It's really, really a big game because if we do lose this game... Um, more questions will be asked about Oli, even though I think that we're without three of our three of our key players in Shaw, Pogba, and Martial. No one is going to say, "Oh, but we're out our players like Manchester United should be beating Leicester." Now, honestly, I don't know why going into this game, you know, people call Leicester City relegation fodder. You know, Leicester City are not relegation fodder. Leicester City are competing with the top six now. They're a strong team, and so. The idea that this game should be a walk in the park just because we're home um, is nonsense. The idea that we should just be expected to win is nonsense because Leicester City have a very, very good team and a very good manager in Brendan Rodgers. And to be honest, if I'm honest, guys, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if United lost this game. But with the squad I've got there, I'm mean, the squad that Leicester City have with the Vardys and the Madisons and the Tillemans and the Ndidis, you know. Um, I just think that I just easy, just see us just see us crumbling against um, Leicester City because as good as Maguire is and a Lindelof partnership, it's still a working partnership, and I don't think those front two McTominay and Matic can really protect them. I can just easily see Vardy with his pace um, causing us a load of problems, you know. So I think that is um, that is that is a problem. Um, it's a big problem. Um, so yeah, um, score predictions, score predictions, um, I'd honestly say a draw, okay, with Daniel James to score one, because he's on fire right now, and Vardy, 1-1, one, one. um, it would be, unless the front three have a really good game, and McTominay and Matic, everyone just has to be on, on, on the game, they really, really have to, have to, and on the last couple of games, you know, when I look at all these players, the only player that I could say has been on their game has been Daniel James. Everyone else, Maguire, maybe second, Wambasaka and Maguire are the same. Although, again, we don't know if Wambasaka is 100% going to play, but hopefully he is. But everyone else in, the, in this squad is either not featured or um, has been average. So we have a very, this is a very average squad that you see in front of us and it's going to be difficult. It is really, really going to be difficult. But let me know what you think, guys. Do you think Manchester United have a chance against um, Leicester City? Do you think, um, you know, we're going to win? Do you expect us to win? Do you expect us to lose? If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, We United X. Like this video. Smash that notification button for more videos. We're almost close to a thousand subscriber, guys. I can feel it. We're going to be close. Hopefully. This coming week, um, we'll get a, we'll get a thousand subscribers, and you know there'll be a lot of things planned. I'm going to do a proper video, um, one thousand subscriber video. We're going to have one or two competitions as well um, for that, um, and just a few other things, just the future of the channel, what have you. But thanks again for everyone who's subscribing as well and who's really been supporting this channel. Really appreciate it. Um, have a nice day, guys, and cheers.